Hi, my name's Danny. I play with the Rolling Stones. I'm a musician for... We get together and we pretend we're from kitchen staff band. And I start off with me being the head maitre d'. And I come in to explain to the people that if they have an issue with the food, you know, come and tell me. I'd be more than happy to, to help them out. And of course, the drummer Frank comes in and he... He sets everything on fire because he says, Philomena, she's got to come out and she's got to sing. And so there's this comical banter of, um, you know, no, no, she can't come out. She's got to stay in the kitchen. She, she can't come out. And of course, then she comes out and she, she just takes over the whole stage. So it's quite funny. I'm the number one pasta chef here in That's the Bangor Hall. No. You know, so I make everything myself, fresh, fresh. Here come my friends. We're from the kitchen. We cook here, but tonight we're going to sing in the song. Come on, shame. Okay, well, Dean. Let's go. That's it. That's it. This is Frank. He work in the kitchen. He making the soup. This is my friend, Cristoforo Martin. We're going to play a little bit of music. Are ready, Frankie? Okay, ready, boy? We're going to rock, right, guys? We're going to rock out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Carry on Hollywood sir. There'll be peace when you are done <laughs> When you're weary and to rest Don't, Don't you cry, cry no more Come on, rock boy! Hey! That's a no rock and roll. I don't know what these guys are doing, but it's supposed to be a rock concert. That's right. What's the matter with you? That's a no no. Listen, one minute. That's a bad It's sort of a comic relief from just the music itself, and it's something very unique. It's a nice song, you know? No? You know why? Okay, sing with me. Right. Okay, hard part, Frank, you ready? Originally, it was a... Uh... It was a Halloween costume. I couldn't think of what to do. Uh, and I go, wow, what am I going to wear? I have no idea. I imitate my mother all the time. Uh, all her clothes are handy. You know, people would flip. They see the staff coming out of the kitchen, fighting, arguing, and then the idea of the drum kit came up. And then my mind started wondering, you know, well, maybe you could do something with the drums, make it pots and pans, and the guitar is a frying pan, and all these different things. And then, then the natural thing was everybody comes out of the kitchen, we're all dressed like uh, chefs and waiters and whatever have you. The perfect venue, you're in a banquet hall or some sort of hotel facility. The instruments were done by Louis Saatchi, who you know, no doubt is uh, quite the comical guy. And uh, he's pretty innovative. Sometimes we, uh, we joke about the fact that 
I don't think he sleeps. You know, that, that guy's always on fire. He's not sleeping. He's, he's thinking of something. And it comes across in the instruments that he's uh, made for us. So he gets busy in his little workshop, uh, welding and cutting things. And uh, we've had a couple of mishaps that were kind of funny, you know, people catching on fire. But it was all in fun. Um, so the instruments are hilarious. And they're, they're very unique as well. It took a bit of time to sort of get used to them. But uh, once we got used to them, it was just hilarious, and we have a blast. Ah, shut up! Where does that come from? I don't know. We're gonna drummer for the Rolling Stones, and I'm a general contractor. And being a general contractor, my trade is, is a carpenter. I've been swinging a hammer for a long time. And as I like to tell my clients, you're in great hands because Jesus' father was a carpenter. I'm uh, Calabrese. I was born here in Canada. My father came from Italy in 1954, I believe. Canada is where my father obtained his trade. He became a carpenter here. And growing up in it, my brother, myself, we kind of always around the carpentry. We'd go on the site with my father, everyone, as young as four and five years old. One nail, two nail, saw a piece of wood. It's all good. Just help yourself to my lips. My arms just say the word and they are yours. Just help yourself to the love in my heart. Your mouth has opened up the door. The green as well that exists. I was born here, so we were there in 1968 or 67. It was a trip to Italy, and uh, I saw an accordion there where we were staying, and I asked my dad to buy it because the guy was selling it. So we lugged the accordion, well, my dad lugged the accordion back from Italy, and uh, when we got back to Toronto, I took lessons. The one with the Rolling Stones, I will not allow Louis to do anything with the accordion from Italy. He's always wanted to uh, to, to revamp it, change it around, add things, take things away, put it on the bandsaw. Uh, I would not allow him to do anything like that to my accordion. So I had to go out and buy a cheaper accordion so he could do whatever he wants with it. And it, when I gave it to him to do this, it was like Christmas morning for him. He didn't, he didn't tell you while you were telling him not to do anything. He sent me pictures of your original accordion in pieces. <laughs> It that wasn't I, after a, some convincing to put it back together again. That I, that I didn't know said. about. This is when you said, hey, don't touch it. Yeah. Never, never, my darling, never you be alone. Forever, forever, my darling, true love is written in stone.
my father came from Italy, and uh, funny enough, sort of, it's a, sort of an inherited DNA thing because he was an opera singer. So I inherited a lot of the music musicality from his uh, Italian heritage and the, uh, the operatic background and singing, which, uh, you know, at the time when I was young, I thought, oh God, do I really want to be doing this, you know? But in retrospect, I thank him dearly for uh, that gift. Dove il mare luccica e tira forte il vento su una vecchia terrazza di un golfo di Surriento. Un uomo abbraccia una ragazza dove lo aveva pianto, poi si schierisce la luce e ricomincia il caldo. <laughs> the Italian community is literally pulled together by, by a, few, a few threads. One of the main ones that come off the top of my head is basically food. I know, I know, everybody has their food, and that's all they talk about is food. But Italians are crazy when it comes to food. Actually, they're nuts. You know, the, the, the world revolves around food. I remember sitting at a, a table with my parents at lunchtime. They hadn't even finished eating it. Uh, so, uh, Marietta, what are we going to eat tonight for dinner? We got to have something. I go, Papa, you haven't even finished lunch. You're worried about dinner? Hey, I got to eat. I got to make sure everything, because you have to prepare. You have to get the stuff out of the freezer, pull out a couple of animals out of the, <laughs> out of the basement, and maybe kill them and throw them on the barbecue or do something. I don't know. Singing and eating, the two preoccupations. If, if you want to know the Italian culture, Eat and sing. <laughs> My father would always be telling me, you know, hey, Louis, I want to sing the song. Go get la guitarra. Okay, Papi, I'll get it. Go on. You get a guitar, he wants to sing. I'll go, la, la, ci da minestra. Papa, take it easy. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Jesus, look at that. There's an accordion behind oh, you. Oh, wow. Look. Look, and a mandolin. It just happened <laughs> to be there. That's but this is not the mandolin. No. This is not the accordion we use. No, no it's not. Work. Actually, this is the one. The this. bass is work. Don't do blame chorus. Yeah, yeah. the vocal Actually, we'll just, we'll just sing. We'll just hear my main chords. Here's the chord. Uh, we do a lot of charity work. We've uh, played numerous times. At uh, one of our favorites is uh, Sick Kids. Yeah. 
we've been there a few times. There was times we plan on going back quite a bit. Uh, the kids love the instruments. They love the drums. Frank lets them up after the show. They come yeah. up and they play Frank's drums. Frank shows them yeah. all the stuff. And yeah, it, it's amazing. Uh, for our last song of the show, we'd like to do a song that's very special to us. And the reason it's very special Why? is because of the meaning. And the meaning and the message is we're here for a good time, not a long time. So have a good time. The sun can't shine every day. Ask a Strons for help. We're the Strons, and in Italian, that's actually not a compliment. But what we do is that if we believe in the cause, we will play for free. We started this as a charitable uh, operation. There was a young gentleman who needed a kidney. Uh, we actually rallied a lot of our friends together, and then we said, we want to play, we want to do something. A lot of our friends are asking us, you know, where are you guys playing next? Are you going to do that joke thing? So we put it together. Uh, we approved on it a little bit. It's come a long way since then. But we've done it for charities, and we still do play for charities. Think that because we play music all all the time, that we'd be sick and tired of it. But the minute we get together, the only thing that comes to our mind is music. Louis ends up firing the barbecue, or the spadini go on, and the lamb chops, and we end up singing along. So it's sort of a embedded in the DNA <laughs> for Italians. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. I feel beautiful, guys. And if you had a dollar for every time you played this at an Italian wedding, you'd be a rich man. But actually, the most, the, the, the biggest song was uh, Voglia Marti. Santino. Yeah. <laughs> I would say we're more of a family uh, in the respect that we're very close. We've known each other for so many years in and out of the profession and we'd always get together even if we had different projects we'd always get together uh, to have lunch with one another to discuss what they're doing. Uh, there may have been uh, situations where I needed a player and I immediately thought of them so we've been together for a long time. I. I can't say they're friends, I think they're more brothers. One, two, three, four. Sicilia, you're breaking my heart, you're breaking my heart and me. Oh, Sicilia, I'm down on my knees, uh -huh. I'm begging you please to come home. the oxygen <laughs> I'm in trouble don't air this please don't put this on the air ma I'm just to make it a joke ma no uh -huh. <laughs> man I'm 55 years old I'm still worried my mother's gonna smack me in the back of the head we all are we're all, we're there's all. that ominous <laughs> slipper that always waits all of us at oh, the end yeah. if you do something uh, wrong it's got like radar it finds you wherever you are <laughs> <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> that's uh Ziggy back there <laughs> Uh, He's a mascot. Mascot. <laughs> <laughs> so we will never be attacked by squirrels in this house because we got out the place covered by Z. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, let's go 
Let's do it. Let's go. 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 Let's